Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scavenger. And today we're actually gonna talk about a new game, Pokemon Go. And uh, just overall the press conference. We're gonna, you know, we just boil that down a bit. Um, obviously, um, a lot of people are disappointed. I am to some extent. After watching that video, or press conference, I felt... You know, I'm actually, I'm doing a day of work today just to watch this. Obviously, I didn't have anything at work that was necessary, but still felt kind of bad considering what they showed, which was really not a whole lot introduced. Um, the new game, which is actually an app game, um, and it's going to be, of course, a Zeter released on Androids and I iPhones. And it's going to be like, if you remember Dreamcatcher, um, or not Dream, I think it's called Dreamcatcher, like the um, Generation 5 game drew DS where you use your phone to catch Landorus, Tornadoes, Thunderous. Um, it's gonna be like that, but in real life, or much like, um, there's like a monster game called Invincibles or something like that on the PlayStation. It's gonna be pretty close to that, actually. So definitely, I'm not gonna say a ripoff because people have done this way before that even, but that is what they're going with, they're trying to expand it. And I like the idea. Uh, what I don't like is their way of trying to sell it. Like they said, oh, have you ever imagined catching Pikachu in on the Eiffel Tower or catching a squirrel in a waterfall in San Francisco? No, I have not. Because I got all the Pokemon in the game. God damn it. That's bad. Like that is just as far as they gone with planning. Like they're trying to sell it as an adventure idea. And um I don't buy it. I don't. Uh, the only way I could actually see this one being cool is if there is like a um, unique Pokemon at a specific hour that's gonna be um, that can only be caught during this time in some areas, uh, or even better. Or actually, no, let them be exclusive. I think that would have been cool. Like, oh, in um, in London, in a Big Ben, around Big Ben, you can catch Keldio with uh, with Nasty Plot. Oh, awesome. Then, you know, clone and spread around the world. But that's that's how you introduce it. That's how you make it real, to be honest. Though then again, this device obviously is not um, toward us a bit older, to be honest. And I have to see it like that. I really do. They introduced also a clock that could also be a pin. Um, it's the Pokeball in the middle, like the button, is a Bluetooth a device that blinks and vibrates, actually. Mm -hmm. When, um, when something happening, uh, it can either be that you're encountering a Pokemon nearby, or uh, just in general, it's something unique, like you don't have, so you have to check your mobile device, or you don't have to check the mobile device to find out that something is happening. Um, I like the idea. What I don't like is that they made it a Pokeball. Um, not to be mean spirit or anything like that, but I don't wear a pin with a Pokeball on me. I won't. This is definitely not a sell idea for me, but it looks kind of expensive. I mean, it looks like a $20 device-ish, um, definitely with the sign and all, uh, but I think what I hope this device is actually introduced with, um, with the new Pokemon game, because did it introduce one? No, they are stalling. They're really, really stalling because there is no way they're not releasing a new game. Well, next year. They they know that people know that a new game is going to come out next year. There is no way they're going to treat that thing differently. It's even so bad. And I kind of hinted, or it kind of felt like they hinted on that. And actually, going to show you the next picture that it seems very likely that uh, that's going to be, you know, the thing really. Uh, they did the same thing with black and white too, so I'm very sure here. And if not, then, you know, this video is going to be super silly to post if I'm wrong. But, uh, you know, they said stuff like, you know, it's a 20 year anniversary for Pokemon. Um, Iwata, of course, stepping down, and the new guy, feeling really bad for not knowing his name, is going to take over uh, as a lead designer and, uh, no, Lee, or what do you call it? He's, def he's the guy, he's the Miyamoto, pretty much, of Mario. Uh, director, sorry, and uh, he's gonna, of course, um, he, he supervises over the course of the Pokemon, you know, what's working and whatnot, and um, we have to trust him on this. Um, Iwata would not have trusted him if it wasn't for, because of that very reason alone. Uh, now, what I wanted to talk about, and this is the last picture, is 
they are really showing that 2016 is going to be something. It, it has to be. like It feels like a confirmation, if you ask me at least. Uh, they're not you know, showcasing the remakes in this list. They're basically the show with the 96, Pokemon Blue, 2016, 20 years later. It's going to be a game. And it's actually it's around three years between games. I really like that. Like, 99, new game. Three years later, 2002, new game. Four years later, all right, um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Four years later after that, so I'm lying, uh, black and white. And then three years later, X and Y. So I'm fairly sure that they have already, like, this seems to be a three-year-ish thing to come here. Um, I sadly don't read Japanese, but it seems like one device, 9,800 yen maybe, uh, down below where if you can see. Um, I don't know, I don't think it matters either, but they're definitely planning something. I think Pokemon Go is going to be introduced together with um, the new main series games, and I think this device is going to be a part of that lineup. Like, they have to do that, uh, like to sell the, the um, Pokemon um, device that was like a um, step counter uh, on Hard Gold Soul Silver, I believe. Um, they had a, like a similar idea. It's pretty close to that idea. Uh, they really tried. Th that device obviously didn't work, or people didn't use it. Uh, I think they're trying to implement that again. Like we want you to have a device to showcase you that you are a Pokemon player. And I can't blame them, but at the same time, ugh, ugh, I hate accessories, and I hate when they calling a device uh, something with plus. It's lazy. It, it's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but other than that, I think that would kind of wrap up the video. I hope you guys had some thoughts that you want to share. Uh, if something you snapped up during the video. And also, I have to big big shout out to Tamil uh, Dranitar too. But I think you guys definitely know who that guy is. Uh, had a lot of laughs when he created his newest video. Where he showcases just uh, you know, the hints that has been posted through Game Freak. Which was Flowers. Um, I guess I could kind of mention that a little bit. I mean, his video kind of makes sense out of it, but um, definitely flowers pretty much means that it's gonna be um, the, it's either is a continuation of the new series. It could be a thing, uh, a generation of seven that is like a big, big lineup, or it could just be a follow up from X and Y. And I think we're probably closer to a follow up on X and Y. It has to be. It has to be a bigger introduction of just that. And um, yeah, I, I think I like. I have nothing more to say. I'm 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 disappointed at at the press conference as it stood. But at the same time, I think they're doing like um, SquareSoft did when it introduced Kingdom Hearts Three. Uh, that is, they showcase mobile devices, games that nobody cared about, and then they pretty much did a Square Square SquareSoft or Square Enix. Uh, and then they show the Kingdom Hearts. They did the same thing with Final Fantasy VII, showing that finally Final Fantasy VII uh, on PC is now on PS3. One was like, oh, fuck, really? And then four months later, yeah, we, we actually started a remake on Final Fantasy VII. Here you go. I think they're trying to pull the same thing, but it just it, it doesn't get as big. But uh, then again, I really like the way they're going with And I hope, I really hope that we're going to see a Pokemon Z or Pokemon X and Y too, or even a new generation by the end of this year. There are two more press conferences that's gonna go down. Uh, I think the biggest one is in November, uh, so I guess we have to wait till then. And I also know it's one in October too, but I don't see them. The, that conference is more towards trading cards, so I don't see that being a way to introduce it. Uh, but anyway, yes, fuck. Um, Next year is going to be the year of the Pokemon, and I'm sure they will figure things out. So until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I kind of filled up. If you didn't see the conference, you didn't miss anything yet. Um, but one day we will. will. Hopefully not miss at all. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm trying to say that the press conference wasn't that, uh, that big of a deal. And I'll see you guys um, another day, basically. Until then, guys, take care, and bye.